I personally believe that the iPhone is in a place now where it's actually considered, you know, a professional tool for filmmaking. So I wanted to share three filmmaking rigs and techniques that will allow you to get the most out of your iPhone 15 Pro, 15 or the Pro Max, whatever phone you're using. Whether you're using the cameras themselves to film your next music video, montage, or even YouTube video, or even need to pair your iPhone with your professional camera to assist you as a creative tool, this video is gonna help you. This first rig is actually not even a rig at all. It's not even included in the top three that I'm gonna be sharing with you today, but it's really just the phone itself. The built-in stabilization on these new iPhone Pro lines is rock solid. And especially if you're just doing like montage stuff, as long as you're not, you know, running or walking fast with the phone, you won't really be able to see a lot of that, you know, jitter or, or bouncing up and down, especially if you stabilize in post with a really good stabilizer. And if you're anything like me and you didn't wanna blow a bag on the one terabyte version of the iPhone 15 Pro Max, don't worry. You can actually use this very small Samsung Type-C flash drive. It just plugs right into the bottom of your phone. It's discreet, it's not intrusive in any way. You can unplug it when you're done and then go ahead and plug it in your computer for editing later on. And there were some conflicting reports early on from other YouTubers believing that the read write speeds were not fast enough to you know, read and write ProRes 422 10-bit Apple log. But I have used these drives personally on the music video that you guys watched a couple weeks ago and I have no issues with them at all. I use them with the stock Apple iPhone app the camera application that's on everyone's phone as well as I also use them with the black magic application as well all right so the first rig we're going to cover is what I call the quick rig and when it comes to the word rig I use it lightly because when it when it comes to these iPhones you really want to have something that's nimble that's not too cumbersome uh, when people think of rigs they actually think of like you know cinema cameras and you know knobs and handles and mounts and monitors and recorders and all this other stuff and I kind of want to get you out of that mindset because one of the key benefits and strengths of filming with an iPhone is the fact that it's small, light, and portable. And this grip actually helps you out with that. This is the small rig P20 foldable cage. And you can actually just unfold it really nicely. It's super small and compact. You can unfold it, pull out the handles and have some extra points of contact. So that way when you're using your phone for parallax shots or tilts up and down, it, it's very smooth and stable. You don't have to worry about it getting in the way. When you're done filming, you just fold it back up, put it in your bag or your pocket and you're on your way. It does also come with two additional cold shoe mounts that pop out. So you can attach a microphone. Um, you can also attach a flash whatever you want but I enjoy the fact that it's super small minimal and compact so when I want to pull it out and use it I just pop the phone on there and if I need additional memory I pair it with the Samsung type-c flash drives that I talked about earlier and I'm good to go and typically on my phone itself I do have the moment VND clamp uh, with this clamp you can actually put on the cine bloom you can put on the uh, anamorphic streak flares um, you can also of course pair it with the moment case and with those three, four things, I actually have a very small, nimble and compact setup. So that way I'm able to move around freely and fold it up when I'm ready to put it away if I want to be discreet. And if you did want to use the foldable cage, Moment actually has a cool MagSafe rig as well that still gives you those two points of contacts, has additional quarter 20 mounts all around it and cold shoe mounts as well. So you can still mount your flashlights, your SSDs, your, uh, your microphones, whatever you want to it. And if you wanted to keep it stripped down to minimal, you can do that as well. And also you can even attach handles to it. You can attach NATO rails. You can get crazy with this Moment MagSafe rig. And the cool thing about it is you don't have to worry about any clamping system. You actually just use the built-in magnets on the back of your iPhone and your Moment case, snap it right in the middle and you're good to go. And it's actually a little bit quicker than the foldable cage because you're just using those magnets to pull your phone in and out. It doesn't collapse as easily or at all <laughs> as the foldable small rig cage, but it's still pretty small in its footprint. You can throw it back in your bag and be on your way. This next rig is another handheld kind of rig, but I'm gonna call it the high capacity rig because it has tons of mounts and it has built-in handles as well. At the heart of this rig is the small rig universal cage and it is universal because it works with any phone so whether you have a the large iphone small one if you have a samsung device a pixel whatever you have it'll work with any phone because it has the clamping mechanism in the middle to hold your device in place also with this it's super secure because the cage itself screws down it's not a tension spring holding your phone together you actually have to hand screw it down and it's metal it's rigid it's heavy duty uh, and this is the cage you want to pair with you know, your t5s your t7s actually also attach the small rig bracket mount for the t5 that normally you put on like a black magic camera i screw that in the back it has quarter 20s all over it it also comes with these two handles that have additional quarter 20s on them as well as cold shoe mounts there's cold shoe 
mounts around the entire frame of the rig. Uh, you can mount, like I said, anything from flashlights. Uh, if you if you get crazy, you can of course mount tons of different things like transmission systems, uh, microphones, DJI mics, uh, mic uh, everything, shotgun mics, whatever you want, you can mount it to this rig. But I call this high capacity rig because it does have the potential to be rigged up quite a bit. But I will say that the Blackmagic application does a great job of taking away a lot of those uh, digital sharp smartphone kind of attributes that you know a lot of people don't like on their video footage especially if you're using it for professional purposes uh, so yeah the black magic app is dope as well as if you want to take off another layer of that digital sharpening just go ahead and pair it with the cine bloom and the uh, vnd uh, and you're good to go the vnd i say is good because you still want to maintain a 24 frames per second frame rate on your project as well as manually control your shutter speed so that way your motion blur is good and a lot of times when you do that you're letting in a lot of light because you have to stop the shutter down and you know shoot at 1 over 48 or even shoot at 180 degree shutter angle and uh, that's you know opening your shutter up quite a bit to allow that motion blur so the vnd helps out with that a ton especially if you're shooting outside and you know there's a lot of light you can actually adjust that so that way your exposure is still looking good another pro tip for you guys when you're shooting this iphone footage i'd recommend to kind of underexpose it just a little bit just to give it more of a like dirtied up look uh, if you don't want it to be too clean and clinical just, just underexpose it just a tad, not a ton, maybe like, you know, one stop underexposed, like not, not too crazy because then you'll get a lot of noise in your shadows, but just underexpose it just a little bit. Um, and if you want something to be super tack sharp and clinical, just expose it properly and you're good to go there. Now, both of these rigs are very customizable. You can really do with them whatever you want. You can attach whatever suits your project. And that's where I, I want to uh, communicate that to you guys. It's like, don't get too stuck on these particular products that are in this video. Uh, mainly the cages are the most important because that's like the heart of the rig. And then from there you can attach whatever you want to it. Like, you know, additional batteries for charging. If you're, you know, mics, different accessories you can put on it, natal rails, you can get crazy with the rigging. But like I said, play to the strengths of what your camera is. Your camera is lightweight, it's portable, it has an amazing wide angle lens, um, and you want to play to its strengths. Keep it lightweight, keep it nimble. I will say when I was leaving home for the shoot, I did feel kind of under prepared, I guess you could say, because like I'm so used to carrying pelicans and backpacks full of stuff. And uh, it was it was crazy. Like it was a crazy feeling. Like when you, like when you leave the house and you don't know if you close the garage door or not. You know, that's what it felt like because I was like, man, I'm just leaving with this phone and this SSD and this cage. It's crazy. Before we get into the coolest rig that I have to show you guys, I actually wanted to ask you to subscribe. If you've made it to this point in the video, you probably liked the video. Uh, you probably would like more content from me. I'd appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, so that way you're amongst one of the first people to know when I upload a video. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's get into this last rig. Another huge benefit of using iOS devices is how color accurate and bright their displays are. You know, of course, from iPads to iPhones to Macs to uh, studio displays. Apple's known for having very color accurate displays with great HDR potential for editing and even just monitoring. And the Axoon CMO Pro allows you to take full advantage of that display. This takes what you already have in your pocket, your iPhone, or even if you have an iPad in your backpack, and truly transform it into a professional tool. And, this, and to sum it up into one sentence, the Axon CMO Pro transforms your iOS device into a production monitor. So you can pair it with your FX6 if you have one, your Sony mirrorless cameras, any camera really, Canon, any camera you have out there, you can now turn your iOS device into a professional production monitor. It gives you a full suite of film tools like histograms, false color, waveform, anamorphic de-squeeze, uh, focus peaking, audio level levels, grids, uh, and so much more. It also gives you SDI loop out, so you can monitor, you can actually stitch it to another monitor or a wireless transmitter if you wanna use the CineView SDI or if you have Mars 4Ks or Teradex, you can, loop it out to a wireless transmitter and have that broadcast the image from your camera to other monitors and displays for a video village or anything. It also has HDMI and SDI in, so I use SDI personally with my FX6, and you can also use HDMI if you have any other mirrorless cameras out there, or any cameras that have HDMI support. For power, you have the two pin DC connector, and it also powers your iPhone or iPad as well, so that way you don't have to worry about your phone or your iPad dying in the process of you know filming. Another huge benefit to this device, it actually allows you to live stream straight from your camera to YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, or TikTok. So of course, when you're using the CMO Pro and you attach it to your device, 
device, your device is a, a smartphone or a smart tablet. It's connected to the internet, it has applications, third party applications. I've seen some crazy stuff you can do with, you know, lighting and it's a ton of cool stuff that you can do because your iPad or your phone is actually already stitched into the matrix, if you want to say it like that. It's already connected to all these other applications in the internet, so the possibilities are kind of endless. The other cool thing about the CMO Pro being connected to your phone or your iPad is that you can actually screen record the feed that it's receiving from the camera. So of course it limits it to, I believe, 1080p, but you can actually do a screen record and use your device as kind of like an external recorder. Um, a lot of the metadata and everything isn't going to be baked in because it's just a screen recording, but if you wanted to, you know, uh, get a, a quick clip for social or take a screenshot for a client to show them the framing or you know anything like that being that your device is connected to the internet you can quickly do a screen capture and send that off to wherever you need to send it you can also pair it with the ipad power cage 2 which allows you to transform your ipad into a larger production monitor all these rigs are useful but the most important thing to consider i mentioned it earlier is your story, your composition, your lighting, etc. Because no matter what rig you have, if all those other things aren't in line, it, the project's gonna be trash. And it's pretty amazing that we can achieve all these things and these looks with just the phone. Like, that's one thing that Apple really did step it up this year, adding ProRes 422, Apple Log, externally recorded to an SSD. Um, it's been a huge leap in making this pro phone for pro users, if that makes sense. But until next time, guys, it's been a pleasure. Stay fresh. Peace.